Hi, this is Rich from Metamolecular. In this screencast I'll show you how to easily work with chemical structures using Google Spreadsheets. Let's say I wanted to create a Google Spreadsheet like this one. In the first column I have a list of substance names. In the second column I have a list of uh, structures that correlate uh, with the substance names. I have cast numbers, smiles, and inchy. But now let's say I wanted to do this using nothing more than a substance name. The tool I'll show you today is called GChem and will let you do all of this easily without any programming. Here's how it works. Let's say I wanted to assign a structure image um, to row 2 here, the one with purine. What I would do is I would click on the structure cell, go up to the formula window and type equals image in parentheses, get image URL, and I would pass in the cell number, uh, the cell identifier, which in this case is A2. And when I did that, I would get the image. I can use a similar approach with CAS number using get CAS as the function name and pass in A2 again. I can use the same thing with smiles using A2. And finally I can do the same thing for Inchi. Now one of the really nice things about Google Spreadsheets is that like Excel you can copy blocks of formulas and paste them. All of the cell references will be updated appropriately. I can continue and finish the table that way. Like Excel spreadsheets, I can also um, do this operation um, across columns in addition to across rows and all of the references uh, update themselves. So in this way I could automatically create a spreadsheet based on nothing more than substance names um, that does the job that I'm looking for. So here's how you can do this for yourself. First, browse to the GChem homepage listed in the address bar below. When you get there, um, go to the bottom of the page and click the download button. That will start the download process. Unarchive the file that you get. Open up the GChem directory. And um, at this point the GChem distribution contains just one file called GChem.js. Go ahead and open up that file with a text editor of your choice. I'm going to use TextMate, but feel free to use something else. I'm going to select all of the text in this file, copy to the system clipboard, close these two things out because we don't need them anymore. And now I'm going to go to a completely blank uh, Google spreadsheet. The key to getting all of this to work is the scriptability of Google spreadsheets. And you can access that functionality through the tools menu and under the script editor menu item. Go ahead and click that. And what you'll get is a dummy script. Delete that dummy script and paste in the text that you copied from the GChem distribution. Click the Save button and give it a name. Let's call it uh, GChem. Click OK. And now our spreadsheet is a little bit more chemically aware than it was before. I can type a substance name such as benzene. I can go over uh, one column and I can use the formula get smiles. And there it is. And that's all uh, there is to it. My company, Metamolecular, are specialists in applying web technologies to chemical information problems. If you found the information in this tutorial helpful and would like to learn more, please feel free to get in touch. Thanks for watching.